The 15th BRICS Summit is scheduled for the 22nd to the 24th of August at the Santon Convention Center in Johannesburg. Russian President Vladimir Putin will be attending the summit virtually. For more now, we cross to our correspondent Dasha Chenishova, who is in Moscow for us. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Dasha. What values does Moscow attach to the summit, particularly because Vladimir Putin will be attending virtually? Well, Russia does attach a specific value to this gathering. Russia has been the member of the BRICS and Russia cherishes this uh, block. So we understand that the Russian president, even though he will not be present in the meetings of the BRICS leaders, he will be attending the meeting virtually. Uh, he will be uh, trying to make up for the absence physically by the uh, participation uh, via the online link. But at the same time, Russia's uh, foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, will also be attending the meeting. Today, actually, we have heard that Russia believes that the BRICS will become another brick in the construction of what Russia describes as the multipolar world. Today, we have heard from a number of Russian officials speaking at the Moscow Security Conference and saying that uh, the Western countries have to understand that the multipolarity is the future and the reality. So that's why the BRICS meeting is paramount for Russia. Uh, you talk about the security conference, uh, you know, that Moscow is currently holding or will be holding soon. Just talk to us about that. Uh, tell us more details. Well, indeed, this is the gathering that unites many military of different countries. We understand that the Russian officials have been trying to get together, uh, most of them in one place in Moscow. And today we have heard from the Russian president, Russian foreign minister, Russian defense minister, as well as the defense minister of China uh, and other officials in Moscow addressing the conference. Uh, pretty much everyone having the same leitmotiv, that is multipolarity, the end of the hegemony of the Western countries. So we have Heard the Russian president saying that the Western countries are trying to fuel the conflict in different parts of the world. In his words, this is with one goal, to have the vassal obedience, as the Russian president has described it, of these countries to use their resources. So what Russia is trying to offer is the partnership to the countries uh, that are willing to defend their national interests. Uh, we also have heard a number of statements being made on the relations between China and Russia, with both sides saying that they have exceeded the level of strategic partnership it is much deeper now and we understand that these countries are saying that they are uh, shoulder to shoulder with one another as the United States declares both Moscow and Beijing strategic adversaries we also have heard a lot um, of uh, words and uh, comments made on the current on on the current military operation in Ukraine with Russian officials saying that the military potential of Ukraine is being exhausted and it is only uh, capable of waging this operation militarily because of the supplies of Western weapons, which according to Moscow is being made on purpose because the Western countries do not care about the future of the Ukrainians. What they do want is to defeat Russia. And that has been declared many times. In response to that, Moscow says it will still achieve the goals of its so-called special military operation. And Russia is ready for that.